But you know what, this is the fun of this entire tournament. We've got the Tigers taking the Sharks today. And just like the President and CEO of the Super Boxing League, Mr. Bill Dutan, explained to us and introduced this entire concept in India two years ago. And what a hit it's been. A point system that will take everyone forward. But there we go. We got Bhatti in the frame as he makes his way towards the famed cage. Get this action started here tonight. I am fired up, Arjun, just as Sandeep Singh Bhatti is right now. What a chance he has to assert himself as a force within the international boxing community. This is a great, great opportunity for all these fighters, especially on the undercard here tonight. Sandeep Singh Bhatti has a chance indeed. Like you said, so Nick, he's going to take on a very tough opponent, and we'll be wait to find out what happens. from Uzbekistan comes in Shakobedin Zoyrov with a grim expression. This man has seen it all. He's been there on that live stage. And will he strike fire as the Jeddah Sharks bring out their first fighter in this electrifying night here tonight in Jeddah? This young boxing prodigy is one of the exceedingly talented and rare few pugilists to have stepped upon the top tier of an Olympic podium representing Uzbekistan in 2016. He has got a lot of skill and a lot of ferocity. Here we go to the tail of the tape. Zoyarov takes on Sandeep Singh, the Sharks against the Tigers. Slight advantage to Zoyarov in terms of experience. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. Ladies and gentlemen, Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one between the two teams, the Sharks and the Tigers. Sandeep Bhatti, representing the Tigers, takes on Shakobedin Zoyarov. As you can see, Zoyarov immediately pushing him up against the ring. Yeah, Zoyarov, he, he carried a nice pace throughout all the bouts I've seen him in thus far. And one of the things he likes to do is he likes to set a pace early and continue to build on that as the fight goes on. So Bhatti's going to have to do everything he can to make sure he can control, it, he can control some of the tempo himself. What a beautiful that was. Oh man, he cracked him a little bit with that. He, you know, it says Zoyarov is, is, is he's counter punching beautifully. He's waiting for Sandeep to step in, but Sandeep needs to start bringing this fight to the center of that ring. That was a nice straight left from Zoyarov. He's gaining the respect from Bati already. Bati flails back. He's got to be careful about opening up like that, not getting his guard back. This is one of the things that the body. this is one of the things that Bati likes to do. He likes to just shell up and cover up. And the perfect counter to that shell is hooks to the body. So off, oh, look at up the, oh man, look at that shots to the body and the head. Like you said, right when he's old, Nick, he cannot be a stationary target. Absolutely not. Zorov has such fast hands and he always punches in combinations, changes up levels well. But Bati's got a lot of power, so Zorov needs to make sure he gets his hands back defensively after all these exchanges. And suddenly Bati telegraphing that big right, leaving himself open to a counter here. Zorov staying very, very patient though, taking his time, maintaining that range and distance. Nice jab to the body from Zorov. 
nice double left, right hook from Zoroff going twice to the same side with a lot of speed. He's really opening oh, up on him right now. And you know what? Those body shots will pay dividends as this fight goes on. Absolutely. Those shots to the body. Suddenly, Butty needs to figure out a different strategy here because he's getting pushed into a corner by Zoroff. Bati looks a little bit shaken already. That was a very ambitious overhand right. You are not going to land that on somebody like Zoroff if you don't set it up. you got to pump a jam out there, then attempt that overhand right. Nice straight left, Beautiful. straight down the center. Beautiful straight down the pipe, landed by Zoroff. Less than a minute remaining in this opening round. And suddenly Bati, though, looking to fire back and gain Zoroff's respect at the bottom part of this round. Bati's game, and he's got Zoroff backing up a little bit right now, gaining some of his own respect back. He needs to do that, but he's got to quit flailing with those overhand rights. Exactly. He can't. He needs to set up that big overhand right. Another straight left to the body, mixing up the levels nicely. Oh, beautiful job. Oh, man, look at him dig to those beautiful hooks. Bati needs to get moving here. That was 11 right hooks to the body unanswered <laughs> in a row. Man, Unbelievable. Combinations. Less than 20 seconds remaining in this opening frame, and you can see Buddy is hurt here. Zoroff is banging the body drum right now, and it is doing damage. Oh, here we go. He landed that left to clean. Buddy's hurt. He's covered up, but he's got to pin the cage. Stay stationary. 10 seconds remaining in this first round. Buddy needs to stick and move right now. Oh, wow. Zoroff put the pressure on early and kept it on often. What a round for Zoroff. And Bati's got to move. He cannot stay stationary and just cover up against somebody that punches as hard as Zoroff. Man, oh man, that round was incredible. Zoroff started off slowly. He came in with combinations, but you can see that landed on multiple occasions. What a round for Zoroff. Here we go. Here's an uppercut that misses. Zoroff makes him pay with a three punch combination. Bati looks a little rattled. Here comes another combination, always punching in combination. It goes back to the right-hand side multiple times. That's four. And then an uppercut that barely misses. He really did a lot of body damage in this round. Oh, as we see him separate right now and hit him with a short right hand off the break. Now, those body shots, I feel I've repeated the thing many, many times. You see Colton to fight so many fights together. Those body shots will slow you down as the rounds go on. You're accumulating body damage equity as the fight goes on. I that like pays that. off down the I line. Like that. I like that, man. Body, like, body damage equity. Indeed, and Zoyarov is a rich man in that department. Yes, he is. He Very wealthy. 11 body shots in that last round. And towards the end of that round, though, he started. You know, you hit the body enough, you'll open up the head. Absolutely. And it also slows your opponent down. Not that he has any issue dealing with the speed right now, but Bati's got power, so Zoroff's got to stay composed in this next round because Bati can do damage if you leave an opening. Round number two. Again, Zoyarov pushing Bati up against the ring. Bati, though, looking to step in with a combination of his own. But look at that. A little bit of showboating from Zoroff. Oh, beautiful head movement there. Zoroff's got his mojo working right now. Look how low he stays with his knees, too. When you stay Beautiful. low like that, it allows you to close distance and pull back so much quicker. You know what, but Zoroff needs to be careful here. Because Bhatti does still pack a punch. He's unloading on him. Zoroff's mostly covering up, but that first cross to the body got through. There's a counter left from Zoroff, and Bhatti smartly clinches up to Referee. stop Zoroff's forward pressure. Referee separates both the fighters here. Electric start to round number two. Here in this beautiful city of Jeddah in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, season, Jeddah season of Super Boxing League, and the action goes forward. Zoro so just clipped him with the right hand, using his shoulder oh. to come up under his chin. You can't do that, and he's no. getting a, ref, a warning from the ref as we speak. Immediately, the referee admonishes him for using his shoulder push. The action starts again, though, but Zoro looking sharper than ever, that head movement is perfect. Body standing his ground, pumping out the jab, trying to find distance, but you can't stand stationary even if you're pumping out the jab. Beautiful right hook again, landing the hooks to the body at will. Zoroff is fired up. This guy's aggressive right now. He's feeling it. Oh, he is. He's seeing, he's in the zone here. Oh, look at this, a little bit of showboating again. Sunday Bhatti, though, oh, again gets tagged with that beautiful right coming over. Lunges in with the right hand, and Bhatti forced to just try to grab a hold of him. He has no answer for Zorov once he gets on the inside. No, I think Zorov is just faster. He's figured out his range and his distance perfectly. Sunday Bhatti, though, staying patient, trying to stick out that jab. There's a big hook to the body that lands on Zorov. That might have been the most effective punch we've seen. There's oh. another one to the right side. He keeps going back to it. You're right. He's taking a page out of Zorov's book. Oh, nice combination for body. Body finally starting to change the dynamic of this fight. 
Potential low blow. Right back to action, and he goes digging back to that right side again. Tries to switch it up with an uppercut, but just misses the mark, and Zoroff misses the mark with that counter right hand. Zoroff actually is starting to look to slow down here. You can see his breathing a little bit from his mouth now. And Zoroff has shown excellent cardio in the past, so I'd be surprised if he Oh, huge fight. right hook. That was a nasty man. shot that connected clean. Caught him clean, man. Suddenly Buddy's got a chin on him, that's for sure. I will say this, Zoroff's getting a little more sloppy when he comes on the inside. He's leaving his hands a little bit low, leaving a little bit more space for counter. So we'll see if Body can make him pay for that. Ten seconds remaining in the second frame. As Zorov now looking to fire back, but suddenly, oh, wait, that was a shot after the bell. Sure was. And you can see no love lost between these two men. Zorov <laughs> is still ready to go. Zorov, is, Zorov looked a little upset after that, rightfully so, because uh, Butty landed that straight right after the bell. But let's take a look at the highlights here. Here we go, Zorov standing Beautiful. really low, able to use his head movement in a more effective manner because his knees are bent and he's coiled. But here we see some good combinations from Bati. This is probably the most damage Bati had done all fight. Zorov is forced to respect this. He's covering up, but none of those are getting through too cleanly. Bati here, in my, in my opinion, Bati rallied back in the middle part of this round. He came back with some good combinations of his own. But Zorov there, that was the brutal right hook that he landed. That's what Bati gets for leaving that left hand low after he throws it. He does it almost every time, but Zorov's looking a little bit gassed in the corner right now. We're going to see. We spoke about this. We're going to see if his attrition can hold up to the demand of this fight. You know, it's a big event. It's a big night. It's a huge card. That's right. We're fighting under under the big lights now. So sometimes the pressure can get to even the best of best. Especially when you're the first show or first fight in the show, and we've got him heavy exchanging oh. in front of us right now. Bati's grabbing the side of his head and clinching in Muay Thai style in a boxing <laughs> match right now. But punches and punches by Zorov, again, near the ring. But he's coming over with, with that leaping right. Sunday Bati, though, very much so in this fight. But you're right, Nick. Zorov was getting a little sloppy. That was a beautiful angle Zorov just cut. He's stepping out to the side and forward. So after he throws his hook, he's completely out of the way for any counter punch to get through. I love how he throws out that jab, pouring at his opponent, waiting for an opening. Oh, again, a huge left hook landed. Zorov showing no respect for Body right now with his hands down by his side and winging shots. Now he's looking. Body's just covering up. He needs to go to the body right now as Bati puts his hands up. Bati makes, I think this is Bati, this is, he covers up beautifully, but he leaves that body exposed. He's got to move his head some too. He can't just stand there in front of Zorov when that happens. No, that would not work. The flat-footed approach in front of your opponent, winging it, will not work against Zorov because he will cut angles and get you from different directions. Some good combination. But you know what? We were right. Zorov was was not the fresher fighter as the round started. Body's having a hard time keeping his feet underneath him right now, and that's a bad situation to find yourself in when you got somebody with such crisp footwork as Zorov. His angles are subtle, he's always on the balls of his feet, and he's gonna catch you in the wrong position if you don't keep your feet directly under your hips. And you can see he's lunging in with his shots as well. Like you said, rightfully so, his feet are not under him. And that's the best way to get caught with a counter. Just pawing his hands out, showing zero regard for the counter striking of Bati right now. Bati's just too slow. Nope. He's got cement in his extremities right now from them getting pounded and from, from being gassed. I mean, those body shots and that equity has built up. Bati's trying to open up, but he's just labored in his movement. So, Zorov, though, has started getting a little sloppier. He's not as crisp as he was in round number one. He's not measuring his shots because you saw at the end of round number one, he looked like he was going to wrap that up. He landed some beautiful body shots, but right now he's just swinging for the fences. I don't think he feels like he needs to have his hands up too much. I think he feels like he's got such a speed advantage that he can be a little more loose. Zorov, though, is still in control of this fight. Bati firing back with a nice combination, some body shots of his own. But so far, it's been the Zorov show. Nice left hand straight down the pipe that connected. Again, he's looking for that straight left. I love the way he cut a corner. Zorov just had his head outside the ropes and used the <laughs> rope to guard one of those punches coming in from Bati. Crafty stuff. Well, you know, use what you can. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Bati, though, now looking to pressure on here. Oh, landed a nice straight right of his own. He landed a nice straight right, but he's got his feet squared up when he's throwing those punches. He has not a lot of stability, and you can't turn your hips over and get power on those strikes. Very true. Not a very damaging shot, though, but as we come to the end of the third round, and we get ready for round number four, the fourth and final round. Let's quickly take a look at the highlights between these two men.
And here we got Bati opening up, trying to get some damage done. There was actually a headbutt right there that Zoroff used to his advantage to come back with a counter of his own. Nice straight left from Zoroff down the pipe. Zoroff's got venom on some of these shots. Bati coming back with the counters of his own that aren't finding the mark. That one does touch him. That here comes did. a left hand. That's a four punch, five punch, six punch combination. A few got through. That's the sort of combinations that Bati needs to put together. He's just got to keep his feet underneath him. Bati, though, doing a lot since the first round. He started rallying back here. You can see he's moving better. Yes, he's getting cornered by Zorov on multiple occasions. Yes, he is getting outstruck. But I think he's changing up his strategy. He started going to the body a lot more. And you can see Zorov has slowed down. We're in the fourth and final round as we get started on this maiden card. What a card it's been so far. Bati pumping the jab out again. He's got to watch the counter. Every time Bati pumps that left jab out more than once, Zorov's coming over the top with the right hook and connecting. He's, Good Bati's got to down. make that adjustment. Good head movement by Bati there in the corner as he brings it back to the center of the ring. But you're right, Nick. He needs to make some adjustments there. You can't just throw out all that jab out there because you're asking to be countered. And Zoros got complete control of the range of this fight right now. His timing is just a little bit sharper, but Bati is game. This man has got a heart. He is not going to give oh, up absolutely. until he either wakes up on the canvas or this fight's over. No, got to respect. You got to respect the will of both of these gentlemen in the cage right now. No doubt, my friend. Bati trucks on. There's no give up in this man. But Zorov here is just—he's got such good control on that range. Bati opened up with a combination, but found himself falling forward because he didn't have his feet underneath of him. You've got to keep your stance sharp when you're exchanging, especially on the inside. Oh, wait, he's claiming that was a low blow. But that gives us a chance to talk about the point system here between the Tigers and the Sharks. It's an interesting thing here, the point system. If you win by KO, that's six points. TKO, four points. This a decision will land you three points, and a draw is one point. As if we need something else to keep us interested in these fights. Now we got a point system to create even more lore. you got to love the system here at Super Boxing League. But you know what? The point system actually lets a fighter know that the, if the method in which he wins a fight will determine it how matters. the night goes. And we've seen that in the past. How, fights, how teams and fights have tried to cover up deficits as the night goes forward. Absolutely. Bati just landed a few nice shots. He's putting the pressure on. He's keeping a decent control of his range right now. And he's applying pressure. But here comes oh, Zorov. Zorov, Zorov, Zorov cut, back. A, cut a nice angle. And now he's opening up with combinations. You can see that he's got a little mouse under his left eye, does Bati. But Zorov landing brutal combinations to the body. Bati trying to fire back with a one-two of his own. Nice counter left beautiful. hand from Zorov on the inside that rocked him. Beautiful, beautiful combination. But he's got a chin, I'll give him that. Oh, big shot there. That stunned Bati for a second. Bati actually connected with, <laughs> with the right hand of his own, and Zorov cracked him with a counter right. Oh, man, Bati might be hurt with that last shot. You can see he's covering up his feet. He's not moving as fast as he was. And his feet again, side by side, you can't have that. We got 50 seconds left in this fight. Let's see what kind of finish we got. Less Zorov opening up with hooks to the, to the right side again. I'm surprised Zorov's not trying to go after the liver a little bit. There seems to be an opening there, but when you're a southpaw fighter, the right hook oftentimes is closer and you can get a little more torque. But he trying to tie up here, create some distance between these two men. With 30 seconds left in this fourth and final frame, both these men have given it their all here. Oh, beautiful body shots, my buddy. Speaking of going to the liver, he oh. lit him up with a liver shot. And comes over with that right as the fight comes to an end. Outstanding fight. Beautiful fight by both these men. Frenetic pace from beginning to end. You got to love these four round fights, especially with the lighter fighters. Even when they get tired, they dig deep. They kept the pace, they kept the intensity up for all four rounds, Arjun. And you know what? Now we will find out. In, it's going to go to the judges' scorecards, and the decision will. We'll, we'll figure out who is going to take the lead in this night tonight. Here we go, Bati landing some combinations. Zorov measuring him right here, comes through with a huge overhand left that lands on the button. Again, Zorov finding the range on just about all of his strikes. Cross to the body, lands another one back to Beautiful the body. That's shot. the one that was below the belt, and I think yes. Bati had a legit complaint. Yeah, that was, that was legitimately a little below. But otherwise, you know, I think Zorov controlled this fight from the get-go. Bati had his moments, though, showed a lot of heart, rallied back with a few good shots of his own. But I think that last big right hand in the fourth frame, which stunned him hard, I think that, that, that cinched it for Zorov.
it goes to show the cardio of these fighters. Some of the hardest shots were landed in the fourth round, and I know they realized that the fight was coming to an end, but they still had enough Absolutely. seeing left in their strikes to do some damage. Absolutely. Fundamentals and footwork is what got this job done for Zoroff, in my opinion. We'll have to see what the judges say. Oh, I'm Bat sure they agree. Bati's got heavy hands, but when you're talking about subtle footwork, staying in the right position, keeping your balance, and understanding angles the way Zoroff does, it's Absolutely. really hard to dig deep enough to let Hart compensate yeah, for he those sort of skills. He, did, he never had an opportunity to plant down that foot and land straight down the pipe. He did not. He just did not. Zoroff was too crafty for him used every angle he could to get out of the way. And in the first round, that first round was really, that was really, really interesting because towards the end of it, it really looked like Zorov might just finish off the show there. Yeah, he came close a few times to put him away. All credit to the chin and to the heart of Vati to, to stay in this fight. Indeed, my friend. And he found his spots. He did some damage throughout this contest. He did. As, yeah, and yeah, now yeah. we wait for the final judge's decision. Suspected Nick Zorov Shakabuddin has won the fight by decision and advances the Jeddah Sharks by three points. From Olympic gold medalist for his home country, Uzbekistan, to a 3 0 start to start off his career, I think this young, talented fighter has a prosperous future ahead of him. Indeed, he does have a prosperous future, but this night is a long night ahead topped up by one of the best fights that we are treated to see here in the wonderful city of Jeddah. But let's take a look at the score here. Jeddah Tigers, Jeddah Sharks. The Sharks have opened up their tab as they lead by three big points here tonight.